everyone, I'm Yas and this is Flossmas number 4. Today is the Sunday, the 4th of uh, December. It is, uh, it is uh, only, I think it's past 5 o'clock. I just finished watching football. Poland was uh, playing versus France. Sadly, we're out of the competition. Um, so yeah, football for Poland is over, but I will be continue watching. Um, so in the break between before uh, England plays uh, at seven o'clock, I decided to uh, sit down and talk to you a, a little bit. I dimmed the light just to kind of make a little bit more festive uh, atmosphere. So I hope this video is not too dark. Uh, I have got a few things for you today. I have got some projects from, from the past, from archive to show you. I have got a project which I've been working yesterday a little bit of today i have got tea so yeah let's begin so let's begin off fourth uh, a box uh, in the tea advent calendar um just as a reminder this is the tea calendar uh tea advent calendar a purchase from the bed and blend and each day i discover a new flavor and in today's box i have got snowball hot cacao which is the festive chocolate and coconut goodness and i love coconut uh actually when the, there is a, a you know one particular brand of of chocolate uh at the um, uh quality street when they remove the coconut flavor from the box i was devastated because i was the only one in the house who actually loved it so yeah now when you get a box you've got like one or two if you're lucky uh in the box so i am definitely vouching for the coconut um chocolate to be brought back into the quality street box but in today's tea what it says on the instruction it says it has got medium caffeine uh brew for four minutes and again milk or without milk as an option and then it says ingredients sri lankan black tea uh, cacao shells cacao nibs uh, desiccated coconut red corn flowers and natural flavoring and there is a also message take a break and go for a nice winter walk it's not happening because the weather in london today is awful it's been raining it's been windy it's been so cold and gloomy so uh, actually this morning i had to go and uh, do a little bit of uh, food shopping so i dragged my husband from from the bed to drive me to uh, um uh, to a vegetable market so so i just quickly uh, shopped for the things i needed and then yeah i just stayed at home i also was cooking a curry today so you know if you have ever cooked curry from scratch you know it is a long uh, going process um but i had both of my older uh, boys at home today so i wanted to make the lunch uh, extra special so i cooked the lamb uh, uh, curry and the veggie curry i make some samosa and a spring rolls i have made some lentil um and the pillow rice so yeah it was a really really good one and after that you know i watch football and stitched so but before we go into a stitching i would like to share with you some of the project i finished in a previous years so the first one um felt um christmas ornaments i have made i think i think four or five years ago uh I think even longer than that because I wasn't cross stitching uh, yet. So definitely past uh, over six years ago, I've made them and I've made them in the three different color uh, ways. So white, brown and yellow. And um, they are all handmade. They, there's no pattern. Uh, I just drew them freehand. I make my own template for the antlers and the nose and everything. And I just uh, use the uh, blanket stitch to, to stitch it. Um, and I absolutely love them. So they go out from the boxes each year. And I hang them on my Christmas tree. So I just took three to show you today. If anybody would be interested to, um, you know, to get a pattern or templates, just let me know. I will, 
I will send it to you. I just draw it on a paper and I just email to you or I can make a file if you would love to. Oh, actually, in, leave me in the comments below if you would like to get a free um, template for these ornaments, then I will create it and, and just, you know, make available for everyone. The second project from the archive I wanted to share with you, it is a Gingerbread Village by Duraine Jones and it is available in her Etsy store. I used uh, similar colors on a 16 count a gray Ada and I really, really love this project. It's a one, it's actually only framed Christmas project I own uh, mainly because uh, I don't stitch uh, very often, like I don't stitch many of the Christmas uh, uh, projects and uh, and definitely I don't stitch like a large Christmas project. So this is my only proud position and I absolutely love, love, love it. Okay, so let me put this on side. So I can tell you what I have been, or I can tell you and I can show you what I have been working on last night. Mm, this tea is really, really lovely. I have got, um, I went for the version with no milk and no honey. And I can really smell the coconut. Um, And chocolate. Mm, I really like this tea. Mm, it's like the first two sips and I really, really like, I really like the flavor. And actually, uh, it's funny enough because I am not a tea drinker. I am a coffee lover all the way. However, uh, you know, uh, getting this opportunity to try uh, different tea each day, it really, I think, you know, my sparkle, uh, this kind of love for the tea for me, uh, for the future. So, I will definitely make the mark of uh, some of those favorite flavors and I will just purchase them from, from the website. So yeah, definitely so far, uh, this is a, a really, really uh, favorite flavor. Right, so where was I yesterday? Yesterday, I went back to the, uh, to the Jingle Ball uh, and I actually wasn't shopping. Sorry, I just tried to finish the, the thread. So I wasn't shopping yesterday. I actually uh, went to the stitchy, uh, stitchy table and I had so much fun. Um, I messaged uh, to Marie from Stitches and Diamonds if she was already there. So uh, if, if she is gonna uh, be there as well. And uh, she was on the same uh, meet and greet group for Linda Stitches uh, as I was. So we were both listening, you know, um, you know, the questions she was uh, answering and it was so much fun. I've really wanted to, you know, um, say something, but I was too shy. So, but it was really lovely. After that, I went to a few other booths, booths to, um, to kind of listen to the designers, but eventually I've ended up in the, uh, international united uh, stitchy table where marie and i uh and uh, hannah uh, were three of us at first and then you know gradually more people started joining in and i have met uh, a really really wonderful ladies um so yeah it was a really really fun time sorry for a minute sorry for that um so yeah i had a really really wonderful time and i think i spent there quite uh, a chunk of time so as uh, we were chatting i have been working on um the sal which is uh, the joy of winter december sal and this is how much i've managed to to stitch so i had this part already stitched so yesterday i finished the antlers I finish the lamp pose, the cardinal, and I start working on the house today. And this is a really, really wonderful project. Um, it's really fun because so many people has uh, joined uh, this sale as well. Uh, we've got uh, Juani uh, jo Joanita, sorry, from um, Stitchy Things. There is a Judith from the uh, Cross Stitch Librarian. And there is um, Alyssa, she is a 
Floss Tuber as well. I put across the screen her channel, um, Alison. Uh, so many people, so many people has joined this this sale, and you know it's really wonderful to to work on a project together with with others. So this is how much I've managed to do. I will be working on this project until seven o'clock until the um, England play, and then during the England play, I I would love to start. Uh, something else like some other uh, Christmas project I'm not quite sure which one I have got a little um, a stack of Christmas uh, project on my desk so I will choose something small or oh, I also have got like bookmarks in the uh, on a Readly app as well with some of the ornaments I could just do in a you know in a minute so yeah, so this is uh, pretty much everything uh, what I wanted to share with you. Oh, actually, there's one more thing because uh, on the Jingle Bell, when we, I mean, when I purchased the ticket, I mean, before I tell you, I don't read instructions. I don't, um, you know, I've I, I bought the ticket. I knew what time I had to turn up, and I wasn't really uh, looking for any further information. So. When I find out yesterday that I have won one of the prize raffles from uh, Teresa Cogot uh, booth, I was shocked because I wasn't even aware that, you know, prize raffle is, is happening. So I was in, in touch with, with Teresa and she has kindly sent it me uh, one of the charts uh, uh, of my, I mean, the charts I wanted to from the uh, a Jingle Ball um, as a gift. So I decided to go for the second exclusive chart, which is uh, Feed the Deer. I will include a picture over here. So I have got the Santa exclusive and now I have got the, the second exclusive chat. So I am a really, really chuffed about and thank you so much uh, for, uh, for uh, you know, giving me this opportunity to win this wonderful prize. I am feeling a little bit <laughs> uh, odd because, you know, I, I just... Uh, you know, I just came straight from the, you know, as the game finished, I just came upstairs, I sat down um, in front of the camera and I am just talking to you. So I actually, I wasn't really, you know, making plans what I will say. So yeah, this is me, real, no makeup um, with, you know, all of those unplanned things. Um, so here I am. I hope you, oh, oh my God, you see, I'm so unprepared. I brought with me also this giant box because it arrived to me uh, this morning. I mean, it arrived last night, but silly uh, postman or whoever has been delivering this left it uh, at the front, uh, you know, on outside in front of my, my door. So easily could be just taken by someone because when I wake up, woke up this morning, I wanted to take the trash out and i've opened the door and this parcel was just waiting there and i'm thinking like wow why would you want to do such things like if i'm not opening the door just leave me a card and i will go and collect from the post office i found it uh, really really upsetting because when i've opened this box there was this a massive message on the top saying my name yasmin and i was like <gasps> And I knew who it was it from because uh, I, there was the card as well. And I also, you know, received the message in advance saying, I have sent you something. And, uh, you know, the person who put this box together, it is, is Ross, uh, the Ross Clark uh, uh, craft on Etsy and Instagram. Uh, she was the fellow designers on designer on the retreat, which was organized by Marie. And... Uh, it, it, this is the same person who I've offered to do the model stitch so she as a thank you she sent it at me uh, loads of goods and also I was her a uh, small exchange partner so she puts everything in this box and I just really wanted to share with you the first of all she sent me a beautiful note and uh, in the form of of the card but this is her design on inside there is an actual chart for this uh, for this uh, little ornament and there are, uh, is a wonderful message on inside as well thank you thank you so much i absolutely uh, love this and uh, 
you know it is um really unexpected and you know uh it's really unnecessary as well you know i would not expect i mean i wasn't expecting anything in down this scale so i have also received a kit for the bookmark and a mini kit um, for this cross stitch uh, uh, design as lovely mushroom and chocolate a beautiful tartan fabric which is it's, it's a really giant piece um, and the what's it called uh, the trims with a variety of colors like a velveteens so beautiful and then there were two a uh, metallic uh, DMCs and she also included the trims which I think they are the kit for I did see because there is a her sticker on it so I'm assuming then see because i haven't opened this properly there is a like a key ring with um what's it called like a bobbin and um and the trims this is absolutely wonderful and if you you know if you know me how you know i love absolutely love um the vibrant and fluorescent colors so this is beautiful but this is not the end she has stitched me this wonderful pillow i mean how gorgeous is this this is absolutely absolutely incredible i'm speechless you see i'm short of words to describe and you know express my gratitude and on top of that she also included uh, a chart because you know how much i love mandalas and uh she uh was uh, um i think someone has uh, given her those charts uh, so she said I could keep some and I could uh, uh, give away some, but I don't know if I want to give away because they are so beautiful. Maybe when I stitch them, I will be giving them away. So I have Gomandala Seahorse and this is uh, from the Awesome Pattern Studio. I think this was the Advent Calendar because I have come across someone who recommended advent calendar put together by this company but when i was searching on amazon it was unavailable in the uk so and then there is another one mandala butterfly and then oh this is gorgeous mandala owl i mean this is fantastic i think i might be looking for those girls i'll put it inside because i've been stitched out oh this is gorgeous mandala koala oh this is gorgeous mandala peacock oh my goodness how many of them they are here oh and i have skipped one this is Mandala jellyfish. Oh wow, this is gorgeous. Mandala lion. Oh, that's so fantastic. And the horse. This is the lion. I mean, this is gorgeous. Horse. I have got this pattern already. I purchased on their website. And oh, this is this is gorgeous. Mandala Panda and Mandala Rose. This is absolutely phenomenal. And why are you sliding from here? What? And another one. mandala elephant and then is a tiger and fish 
and cut but this is chart so i won't be showing you and sloth and a hedgehog and at the end it is garden irises so beautiful i mean rose like you absolutely should not have got all of those trouble to you know send me all those goods but i am really really grateful thank you so much also thank you so much for uh, mentioning my channel on your latest video um as a you know a, a floss must to to go and watch thank you so much i am really really touched by your generosity and i would also would love to say a massive thank you to karina who was a giveaway winner uh, from one of my videos uh, who sent it me a patrol rabbit gift card uh, so i can treat myself as well absolutely uh, i've been touched so this is a, a sunday it feels like a christmas morning thank you so much to to all of you ladies for your incredible kindness and generosity and this is pretty much everything what i have got for you today um sorry if that has been a little bit awkward video but uh you know sometimes i'm awkward um tea is definitely a strong five it is a leader so far uh so if you want like to know uh, exactly it is a snowball hot cacao that's the name of the tea thank you so much for spending with me those uh, few minutes i wish you a wonderful rest of the of the sunday if you are england supporter i wish uh, you know i wish the team goes through you know i will be cheering with all my best um so yeah have a wonderful one and i will see you tomorrow bye